Hey guys, as promised, this is a video I was talking to you about that I would make for ten, for today's lesson. Um, so if you had some technical issues and you were not able to hear me during today's lesson, I'm going to go over the examples. And they're examples on simplifying linear equations with the variable on one side. For example one, notice we have 3 times parentheses x plus 1, close parentheses equals 12. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use the distributive property because I have parentheses. So notice that your multiplier is a 3. So we're going to multiply that times each term inside the parentheses. That gives me a positive 3x, because 3 times x is a positive 3x. 3 times a positive 1 becomes a positive 3. Bring the equal sign down and the 12. Now, the next thing I'll do, and I'm going to write down what I did, use a distributive. Then I'm going to see if I have any like terms. I notice that I don't have any like terms, so I'm not going to combine any like terms because I have none. Uh, so I will move on to the next step in our presentation, which tells us to use the opposite or inverse operations. And to do this, I'm going to write down on the side, if you remember, if you recall, PEMDAS. Why am I writing this down? Okay. Please excuse, excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. reason why I'm writing this is because when we solve equations, we actually use PEMDAS, but we use it backwards. We start here and we work our way over. And when I start using opposite and inverse operations, I begin with addition or subtraction. So I'm going to write addition, add, dot, subtraction. And I look at what I'm adding or subtracting. In this case, I'm adding a 3. So the inverse operation of adding a 3 is going to be subtraction. So that's what I'm going to use to be able to do the next following step. So I subtract 3 from both sides. Bring the 3x down because I didn't do anything to it. 3 minus 3 is just 0. I can either write plus 0 or not write anything at all. I choose not to write anything at all and 12 minus 3 is 9. The next step I use is my multiplication or division because anytime I have a number in front of a variable that really tells me that I'm multiplying. So I am going to use multiplication or division and so the inverse operation of multiplication is division so I'm going to go ahead and choose division and then, my markers over here on the side, I divide both sides by 3, which 3 divided by 3 is 1, so that gives me x equals, and then 9 divided by 3, that is a 3. I have nothing more to do with this problem, so that is my answer. It's a little off. I'm trying to see if I can focus this, refocus. Okay, so... Here's my answer, and I like to box it in. Okay, in our next example, we have negative 2 times x plus 1. So I'm going to go ahead and use the multiplier, which is my negative 2, and that means multiply that inside each term. And what I'm using is a distributive property. So I'm going to go ahead and explain what I'm using. Multiplying that negative 2 gives me a negative 2x. A negative 2 times a positive 1 is a negative 2 equals 8. Notice I don't have any like terms over here to combine, so I'm going to go ahead and use opposites already. And once more, I begin with my addition and subtraction. So I look at this. I had subtraction, so then I'm going to choose addition. So that means add the same amount to both sides. I'm going to add 2. Didn't do anything to the negative 2x, so I'm going to bring that down. Um, 2 minus 2, or negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 
you're always going to get zero if you're doing this because that's the goal. And so I'm going to bring the equal sign down. 8 plus 2 is 10. So my next inverse is multiplication or division. Well, anytime I have a number in front of the x, like this, that means multiplication. So the inverse is division. So I need to divide both sides by negative 2. And that gives me, I should use my purple, oh well, x equals negative 5. Because when we have a positive times a negative, my answer is a negative. But when we have a negative times a negative, your answer, your answer is a positive. So notice here we only had, we had a positive and a negative, so my answer is going to be a negative 5. Okay, so I'm done with this one. So I'm going to box in my answer. So moving on to example 3, we have 2 as a multiplier and that has to be distributed inside the parentheses and multiplied by 3x and a positive 1. So here's my multiplier, 2. Multiply that times each one of the terms. And again, what am I using? I'm using the distributive property. So that gives me 6x, 2 times 3x is 6x, plus positive times a positive is a positive. Um, and so that's plus 2 minus 2x equals 10. Move this a little bit over. just realized I couldn't see it. There we go. And so it gives me 6x plus 2 when I multiply this in. Minus 2x equals 10. The next step I need to do is, can I have any like terms? Well, it turns out that I do. I have a 6x and I have a negative 2x. Those are like terms. So I'm going to combine like terms. And if I combine these two, 6x minus 2x is just 4x. Bring this down. I didn't do anything to it. Bring the equal. Bring the 10. So I don't need to combine like terms anymore. Therefore, I move straight on to opposites and inverse. Or inverse operations. And remember, I begin with my add or subtract. How do I find that? I look at this one, right? Am I adding or subtracting a constant number? I'm adding two. So then the inverse of adding is going to be subtraction. So I need to subtract two from both sides. So this gives me, bring this down. This is zero, by the way, right? Two minus two is zero. Bring the equal sign down. 10 minus two is eight. The next inverse operation using PEMDAS backwards, okay, is multiplication or division. And um, in this case, I'm going to divide by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1. I don't need to write the 1 in front of the x. Bring the equal sign down. 8 divided by 4 is 2. Voila, that's my answer. So I'm going to box it in. And our last example. Here's our last one. Remember, we're using PEMDAS backwards. And I start with my addition and subtraction. Right? And then I move on to my multiplication and division. Okay. So whenever we have parentheses, we're going to use distributive property. So this is my multiplier. I'm going to bring that in. I'm going to write down what I'm using. I'm using the distributive So negative 3 times x is a negative 3x. A negative times a negative, remember, is a positive 12 minus 8 equals 13. I'm going to scan for any like terms, and it turns out that I do. I have the 12 and the negative 8. Those are like terms, so 
my next step is to combine like terms. So if I do that, I end up with negative 3x. 12 minus 8 is just a positive 4. No more like terms. So then I move on to opposites and inverse. And when I do this, I begin with addition and subtraction. So I look at this. This is what I'm doing. I'm adding a 4, so that means I have to subtract 4 to both, from both sides. So I'm choosing the opposite of addition, which is subtraction. So that gives me, bringing this down, a negative 3x. That's a 0. I don't have to rewrite that. So I'm going to put equals. 13 minus 4 is 9. And we follow with finding the inverse of multiplication. And this is multiplication, so the inverse of multiplication is division. So we're going to divide by negative 3. And when I divide by negative 3, I get x equals, again, a negative 3 divided by negative 3 is a 1. I don't have to put the 1 in front of the x. 9 divided by negative 3 is a negative 3. Remember, I have only one negative, so it stays negative. And that is my answer. I hope I was able to clarify some of your, your questions. And for those of you who didn't get a chance to hear me uh, during today's presentation, now you get to see the examples worked out. And I hope this helps you with your homework. Have an awesome evening. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.